Hey, good morning. We're going to be looking quickly at Dr. Maurice Hilleman. Uh, but, you know, YouTube hit me hard, gave me another strike on this channel. So, yeah, but I'm going to come back hard. I'm going to give you and show you facts, but always research for yourself, as I always say. I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. So let's just get right into it. Who is Maurice Hilleman? Yeah, some call him the hero. Ah, oh, genuine hero. But let's just take a quick listen at what this man here has to say about him. And what Maurice stood for for me, rather than teaching me something, was that here's this old guy out there who's done all these amazing things by using that same approach. No all these amazing things by using that same approach no nonsense keep your eye on the ball be pragmatic take the best science and apply it so what i learned from so what i learned from him is, is that you could do it because he did it so he was very much of a role model of keep your eye on the ball uh, i see in science so many times people do really really good science but it sort of they're 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 very diffuse about it he was very focused like a laser beam he was very focused like a laser beam so who uses air quotes when they're saying they trust someone if they actually thought the opposite right and then focus like a laser beam as he's showing the okay sign just priceless. Thank you, Fauci. Well, I just want to use a kind of like a baking metaphor here right now, but you guys know so much that I'm not going to share a lot here, and I can't anyway, right? So they started making the current, uh, let's call it cookie dough, right? The current cookie dough um, a long time ago. Yeah. What people are putting in their arms, you know, that's what I'm talking about. We know that they didn't just make it three months ago, but let's just say you'd believe that they made this really quickly, this cookie dough. So answer this question for me here. How is it that in the 1950s, Dr. Hilleman himself made a cookie dough in only, that's right, four months? Wow. Four months later, he made that, that cookie dough, and he didn't have even the latest baking tools, let's call them. Well, technology, but yeah, anyway. So just think about that for a minute as we go further into looking at Dr. Hilleman. I have to keep moving really quickly. So when the flu hit the U.S., uh, the cook cookie dough was, was ready. And that was in 57. Dr. Hilleman was the first to recognize there was an outbreak going on. It was going on in Hong Kong. It was a huge pandemic. He was working 14-hour days. And he came up with that cookie dough really quickly. He saved millions, oh, thousands of lives. Hmm. Very interesting. Hilleman considered the father of modern cookie dough. <laughs> Hilleman, he wanted to save the children. He did. Ah, yes. What did Alice Bailey say? about the children hmm go for the children yeah let's just take a quick look at this as well before we finish up one of the most important things that extended human life in the united states and around the world is vaccines dr hilleman had a single purpose and that was to save the lives of children everywhere Imagine how that one principle shaped his contributions in so many different disease areas. Dr. Hillman spent about 30 years here at Merck as an active employee. His legacy is a part of who we are as a company. His life represents a life devoted to inventing new and better ways of preventing disease. Yeah, you can go watch the entire clip for yourself. The only things I noticed in there was, of course, this interesting photo of their daughter. Notice the middle name? Hmm, yeah. And uh, that picture right there. Hmm, the Dough Makers Project Video. Yeah, I'm going to call them that because I can't use the word, right? 
But I hope you can see all through all this. I really do. Um, but he's already passed away, just saying, since, um, in 2005. But just take note, many people have looked into him and exactly what occurred and what he made, including this SV-40. Look at the shape of it. <laughs> look at the building right there. I'm just saying, okay, but let's look at facts. Let's look at exactly during 1957, they created this dough, right? And it had that SV40 in it. You can go look at all the facts. Please do all your own research. But then look at CDC. Oh, they come to find out that between 55 and 63, they were using that same ingredient and it could have caused cancer in humans could have yeah strong words right there but they are no longer using that product anymore because yeah it could have caused on many people something to consider so years later they come telling the truth and that's why i say you sometimes have to start from the end and go the opposite direction and follow the path research test everything and just to show you just a few medals and a few interesting things here yeah he was given the distinguished service medal sure uh-huh the national medal of science just like many others have received it like john g trump uh, there's so many names in all of these medals i'm not going to cover them all i can't the robert cock medal and an award Look who also received that, Anthony Fauci and also a Finnish lady named Pirjo Makela. Huh. Yeah, if you don't know who she is, that's that lady right there. Just had to mention it because I do live here in Finland. Albert B. Sabin Gold Medal. Many others have received it as well. Just like Stanley Plotkin. If you don't know who he is, I'll give you one picture right here. He's the godfather of the cookie dough. Yeah. Albert Lasker Awards. Interesting, right? Even the symbol that they use here. Headless Angel. Huh. Who's received that? Oh, they both have. Yeah, that's right. Fauci. Hmm. Very interesting. Another one that I found interesting was this Rachel Schneerson. Interesting last name. And there are many other names in here you might want to look into. Dr. Sabin, uh, just so many. But look who else was there. Lasker, Bloomberg's Public Service Award honored Gavi. Gavi, oh, who owns Gavi? Oh, that's right. We all know it's Bill and Melinda Gates. They got that award too. They're all in it together. We know that. I'm, you guys know this here. Academy of Achievement. Oh, let's look into that because, yes, he won something like that as well. Who are just a few others I'll point out? Yes, yeah, since he's been in the news lately because he passed away. I'm just going to mention that he also received an award there as well. They love giving each other awards. We know this. We know this. So many have received these awards and been, you can find their pictures. They don't hide this. No, it's not like it's hidden at, at all, like their Freemason uh, name list. No. And there's so many in here. Going back even to Donnie and Marie Osmond, if you know who they are. KFC. I mean, some interesting ones too. Yeah. Amway founder and the Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, Mr. Devo Devos. This one you might find interesting. Brett Kavanaugh. Hmm. So there's other awards too. And I can't go over them all. But here's another one. Prince Mahido Award. Yeah. Peter Mekela won there. Anthony Fauci. And again, Rachel Schneerson. There she is. In case you're unaware of who Rachel Schneerson is. I'm just wondering if she has any relations to Rabbi Schneerson. But they were in Warsaw, Poland at the same time. She was born there in the 30s. No, it's not his daughter. I apparently didn't have any kids. Maybe a cousin. Maybe something else. I don't know. But she is also considered a hero 
<laughs> oh, my goodness. But Mr. Hillerman, later in life, was an advisor to the Who. So right there and then, that should be slam dunk. All of this should be cut and dry. But in case it's not, I just hope you can see that were they really here to save the children? I can't say more here on YouTube. You, you guys know that. But I can show you a few of my thoughts. They all belong to the same group. They all are here. And that's my two cents about it all. Tried to keep it short and sweet, and now it's your turn if you want to look into this. I hope you do. Because clearly it's not what they are saying. And maybe even if they were to take this cookie dough off the markets today, it's already done its damage. <laughs> so many people have taken it. Oh boy. God bless you guys. Take care. More to come on this channel or my second. So stay tuned. Have a great day.